This is Gabriel Gonzalez here with Ryan Phillips, who's going to be competing in Power Slap this January on TBS. So Ryan, uh, clearly ready to go. The guns are ready for the show. Uh, obvious question, when does someone say to you, hey man, slap fighting, check this out. How does that even start? Hey man, you know, it's all about the internet these days and, you know, scrolling through the Facebooks and scrolling through your social media, it just pops up. And, uh, you know, for me, it was easy because I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet. And, you know, for me, I, I unfortunately missed the MMA train. You know, I'm a little bit older now. But, uh, but you know, I, I wanted to test myself against some of the baddest people on the planet. And here I am, man. This is how we're doing it now. If you weren't a slap fighter, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I'd be working from home, man. I'm a sales administrator for a large company. So, uh, you know, I got the brains and the brawn. But uh, I'd still be making money and I'd still be doing my thing and, you know, being me. Now, I think there's some, the public's still a little slow to catch on to this. Like, is this something America's Funniest Videos or is this a legit sport and everything? Can you speak to how important it is in terms of creating opportunities to have a brand like the UFC, a guy like Dana White, yeah. backing Power Slap? Yeah, um, you know, it's huge. Uh, power Slap or Slap fighting in general, um, it, it's becoming a bigger sport, you know, even without Dana. Um, but, you know, the regulations aren't there and, you know, the safety aspects of it all uh, really aren't there. But to have someone like Dana White and UFC back it and bring in all of that, uh, the regulations, the uh, just the, the general, um, you know, just taking care of their fighters in general, you know, he really does care about, you know, us. Uh, it's just huge, man. It's going to bring this into a whole new level. It's going to bring this into finally being a sport that it should have been. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm just ecstatic about it, bro. <laughs> now, Ryan, uh, you seem like a tough guy. I want your help. So one of the things when I watch this is being on the receiving end of the slap. Oh, yeah. Now, talk to a few of your friends over here, talking a little bit about the defense. There is a little bit to it that is legal without you know, a penalty for flinching. Right. Walk me through it. When I'm standing there and I'm about to take the slap, what should I be doing defensively that you could explain to me? Well, I mean, for me, there's three separate things that you can do, okay? And I look at my opponent, I look at their strengths. Are they a strong slapper? Um, are they someone who, you know, volleys on their technique? Um, but for me, you know, I got three separate ways of defending. You know, I can either roll with the slap, um, I can either clinch and take it like a man, um, or I can, you know, put a little weight behind one leg or another and let it go through my body. Uh, my last fight, I did use the roll technique and it worked out pretty good. Man, I, I fought one of the baddest, baddest men on the planet uh, and, uh, you know, I survived all three slaps. I, I ate them all. A lot of guys can't do that. Um, but yeah, there, you know, there's small little intricacies with even slapping in general uh, and the defense that do go a long way. Now, um, we're not going to know for a little bit, but I do want to ask about it. We know you have Darius the Destroyer and Wolverine as the coaches. You know it. We know they got history. Legends. Was there some beef ever going on that you saw between the two still, or are they good? Hey, man, you know what? You're just going to have to tune into TBS and see for yourselves, because it's going to be a burner, baby. You're going to love it. Looking forward to it, man. Best you know of luck. It, Thank you.